Dear students, now we are going to discuss graded index fiber and its characteristics in detail. Graded index fiber can also be represented as GRIN that is graded index fiber. Okay, It is the type of fiber in which the refractive index varies smoothly and continuously over the diameter of the coat. So here we can see this here graded index profile varies continuously and smoothly over the diameter of the core. 2A is the diameter of the core. N1 is the refractive index of the core. N2 is the refractive index of the gliding. Okay. Here the graded index profile that is N of R as a function of radial distance decreases continuously with increasing the radial distance from the core axis. Here R is equal to 0 represents the core axis of the fiber. Okay. So here N of R value that is the graded index profile decreases continuously with increasing the radial distance. But at the same time it becomes constant in the gliding. Okay. So here we can define this N of R values for different criteria. So within the core its value is N1 into square root of 1 minus 2 del of r by a the whole power alpha. So 1 by 2 means it is the square root value of this expression. If the radial distance is greater than the radius of the core that is r is greater than or equal to a. So in gliding structure its value is n1 into 1 minus 2 del the whole power 1 by 2. So it can be approximated as n1 into 1 minus del. So that is also equal to N2. So in the gliding its value is simply constant that is nothing but the refractive index of the gliding itself. Okay. So in this expression R represents the distance from the fiber core axis. A is the core radius. N1 and N2 are the refractive indexes of core and gliding. Here alpha is very important parameter because it defines the what shape of the index profile okay so here alpha only defines the shape of the index profile next del is the refractive index difference okay next the index difference for the graded index fiber is given as n1 minus n2 by n1 so here the graded index fiber supports multi-mode propagation because it is having the graded index profile it is continuously varying at R is equal to 0. That means at core axis it is having the maximum value. So inside the core we can have multiple modes. Okay. So we can have multiple modes in this graded index fiber. Okay. So graded index fiber supports multi-mode propagation. It doesn't support single mode propagation. That is very important point here. So next we are going to analyze the characteristics here. Since the graded index fiber supports multi-mode propagation, the first parameter is total number of guided modes. It is represented as M that is equal to alpha by alpha plus 2 into N1 K A whole squared into del. Here K is the constant value. It is 2 pi pi lambda. Okay. Here we can assume the normalized frequency as N1 K A 2 del the whole power 1 by 2. So we can simply substitute this value in this total number of guided modes. It can be represented as mode volume that is total number of guided modes inside the graded index fiber. So it can be written like this. M is approximately equal to alpha by alpha plus 2 into V squared by 2. So this is the total number of guided modes supported by this graded index profile. Here path of the light is in helical manner. So we can see the path like this. Okay. Next numerical aperture value for this graded index fiber. So its value can also be varied based on the graded index profile. So it can be represented as numerical aperture as a function of the radial distance. If the mode is within this core axis okay within the core then its value is approximately equal to n a of 0 square root of 1 minus r by a the whole power alpha 
okay so this is for the standard initial numerical aperture value of this if the radial distance is in the gliding structure that is above the core axis here the numerical aperture value becomes zero there is no light propagation okay the initial axial numerical aperture value is given as n a of 0 is equal to n 1 square minus n 2 square the whole power 1 by 2. That is square root of n 1 square minus n 2 square can be written as n 1 into square root of 2 into del. As we know that del is equal to what? n 1 square minus n 2 square by n 1. Okay, so we can use this formula over here. The numerical aperture of a graded index fiber decreases from n a of 0 to 0 as the radial distance move from the core axis to the gliding boundary. Okay. So next advantages of graded index fiber. It has high bandwidth. Since it is having the high bandwidth, a large amount of data can be transmitted. So it is having a less attenuation and low bending loss and also the reduced modal dispersion. So these all are the advantages of graded index fiber. So it is having some disadvantages as well that is it is expensive that is costlier than single mode fiber here it is having low light coupling efficiency since it supports multi mode it provides less light coupling efficiency okay so next applications of graded index fiber it is used for long distance applications here the graded index multimode fibers like OEM3 and OEM4 are used for data centers. It is mainly used for short haul applications. That is short distance applications like LANs, okay, between the buildings and small campuses, okay.